Greyhound Grognaut here. If you like the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. Um, hit the bell so you get notified. You know, all that other good stuff that all the channels say. And uh, feel free to visit my blog um, and my Patreon. Um, links are down below. Now, enjoy the show. Hey, everyone. Here we have, as you can see, the awesome hot eye and hand of Vecna from WizKids. This is going to be an unboxing video. Um, I've already taken the liberty of freeing it from the uh, external shipping package whence it came, but now we get to open her up and see what's on the inside. But first, let's take a look at this beautiful box. It's got on the front, which I presume is the front, uh, it has you know the whole thing shown in the glass bubble on one side. It's got a lovely um, detail of, of the two things within. On the other side, of course, it's got the same. And on the back, it's got a little mind, a little thing and a bit of lore uh, regarding Vecna. So all in all, this is pretty cool stuff. Now let us see what lies within. Yeah, it hits the chandelier. Okay, so within we've got styrofoam. Let's see, styrofoam. Let's see if we can get styrofoam out. In, in fact, ah yes. Should be styrofoam, as all styrofoam should be. Okay, so we've got this. We've got this lovely little thing, which I think I put upside down accidentally in the process of removing it. So let us very carefully, with our designated steak knife, cut through the under tape all around the package. See. What lies entombed within. Okay. And here we go for the bigger reel. <laughs> Alright, what is under the cardboard? Under the cardboard is a stand of some sort for what we do not know. Alright, so we've got this, which is the covering lid thingy. I believe it's actually glass. Yeah, that's act that's real glass, so yay. Um, we have the stand on which all things rest. Just basic wood, but very nice. Uh, very nice wood. Uh, it's got a little bit of flexible stuff there. Ah, and it seems it has two holes into which this standy thing would fit if I could open it. And your eyes open. Aha! Okay, so let's see this. I know I'm deliberately teasing the goodies within. So give me a minute and see how this works. Oh, yes, behold. That looks good. We have the uh, silken. Thing, if you can see upon which the rest of this rests, a little silken uh, covering which uh, covers that stand. Is that in there all the way? It seems to be. Yeah, I suppose. All right, so I guess we just kind of bunch this up. And now. Behold, in all of its handy splendor, uh, splendor. Oh yes, and it's got nice little cracks in the skin on the back of the knuckles and everything. Oh yes, this looks absolutely cool. No, and I, no, that's not right. There's something, something is a foot with the thing. But now, oh, and there's a like a plastic insert to the styrofoam. Protecting the eye to an unwarranted degree. Protecting it from it. Let's see if this requires a little, a little, a little prodding here. Is this 
cooked. Ha 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 ha. Oh. Victory. Alright. And now. Oh, the eye. And it's plastic. Covering there. And there we have the eye. Of course, in the books, this isn't exactly how it's uh, said to appear. It's supposed to look like almost like a, a withered raisin or whatever, and it doesn't actually turn into an eye until you uh, you put it in your own empty socket. But now I've also noticed a dearth of directions here. We have simply things. So let me see. So if I because these these obviously are how these fit in. That's that's a surety. Right. And then this fits that way. Is it magnetic? Ooh, it's magnetic! That's how that works. That's doubly cool. Alright, so more little flex of styrofoam. Trying to thwart me in my mission here. So if we just kind of do some tucking. Something a bit more form-fitting might have been a little easier to, to manage here. So I've got this. And I prop that. the hand within. I replaced the errant eye. Well, it doesn't want to stay. This is not... Ah! There we go. And then... We place a cover on it. I'll want to tuck in the, uh, the things later, but... Behold, behold, the hand and eye of Vecna. Doom of adventurers for eons past, and now it's mine. <laughs> so here it is. Um, on a shelf, I managed to uh, get the eye in place and uh, get the, the jar on top, and then I was able to put it on. However, it did take a bit of effort and very slow and careful movement to move it from a table onto this shelf without the eye dropping out because the magnets are a little bit weak. But on the whole, man, this is a great piece. Um, you really need to jam in that base, that wire base that's under the uh, the red uh, fabric, uh, but once you do that, it's it's much more stable, and uh, the the hand kind of leans back a little, uh, that uh, making the eye easier to um, to stay where it should go. So on the whole, this is an uh, just an amazing piece. Uh, I'm going to move it into a more permanent home near my D and D stuff uh, later, but uh, just for the purposes of the video, I wanted to show what it could look like next to some books. So, and the fact that you can, in fact put it onto a shelf and, uh, and, and still have the eye attached. So on the whole, great stuff. Thanks for watching. Hit the like, all that good stuff. And, uh, thanks again. Have a great day.